John Capity is an entrepreneur, author, and founder of Community Connections Customers, which is a face group for Christian small business owners, coaches, and course creators. He is the former vice president of a $2 million home maintenance remodeling company and other profitable businesses in various industries. John is the current owner of Perpetual Customer Growth, a consulting and digital marketing firm that helps motivated small business owners create a loyal tribe of customers that buy frequently and refer often. And today we're gonna to be talking about positioning a small business to attract leads and sales. I don't know about all of you, but I love the loyal tribe of customers that buy frequently and refer often. That sounds pretty dreamy to me. Very awesome. good. <laughs> okay, well, John, we are so excited that you're here. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I know that you mostly coach, work with consultants, coaches, and Christian small business owners. If you could sum up how you help them in just one word, what would you choose? Yeah, that's a great question. And it can be a very difficult question for many business owners that can often take years of discovery as it did for me. Uh, but for me, I'd have to say positioning. In mm -hmm. fact, if there is only one thing our viewers need to remember from our conversation, uh, I'm going to walk them through a quick exercise that can help them remember it right now. So if you could, in your notes right now, just draw a triangle big enough to write one word inside it. And I know Melinda used this example too. Um, we're going to put a little different spin on it. But in your triangle, write one word and write positioning. And in the bottom left side of that triangle, write the, word, uh, the words audience mapping. At the top of the triangle, write perfect message. And then at the bottom right of the triangle, write magnetic offer. So, and then now underneath the triangle, so you have the triangle, you have the word positioning, you got your words around it, write equals and the words perpetual customer growth. So at this point, you can relax, listen, and let everything else soak in because you can be done taking notes during our conversation. It's the year 2000. And we made it through Y2K. I'm the VP of my father's $2 million home maintenance or remodeling company. I'm married, my wife's pregnant. First child is, will be born in less than three months. I hear these words, Jonathan, I have to lay you off from your inheritance. Mm. No, that's not actually what was said. It was more like blah, 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 blah. We're losing our business. <laughs> wow. So you are most likely uh, here at this event in these trainings because you want leads to fill your pipeline, you want customers to fill your business, and you want sales to boost your revenue. When your audience message and your offer are misaligned, they're not congruent with one another, you're going to struggle to bring leads in your business and you're going to continue to struggle to boost your sales and your revenue. So your next step following this training is to implement what you've learned. You need to identify your ideal audience through audience mapping develop your perfect message and give them a magnetic or irresistible offer that they cannot refuse. Yeah, we love the idea of the irresistible offer over here at Amy Walker Consulting. I think that's really what it's all about. And I, I think you're right that you have to understand how to position your value because I promise you, if you're not clear on it, you're not communicating it clearly to your potential customers. So, what does that look like for those who are watching and have businesses of their own, whether they're just starting, maintaining, or scaling, or maybe they're even like an independent sales rep? How do they put that together and start making action steps around it? Yeah, exactly. So our word is positioning, and that's the word you, you wrote inside the triangle. And again, on the bottom left, you had audience mapper. At the top, you had perfect message. And at the right, you had the magnetic offer. So, and then underneath we wrote equals perpetual customer growth. So let's talk about your audience a little bit and how you pick or choose that audience. So this is arguably one of the most important steps in business. And if you've been watching all day today, you'll notice that several of us have talked about this, uh, that we've talked about audience, the message and uh, your offer. Mm -hmm. That should clue you in as being one of the most important things that you have to get right in your business. So let's talk about how you can do that. There's three things that you can do about your audience. And you want to find out, uh, you want to discover their demographics, their psychographics, and their emotional behaviors. So demographics are like the stats. It's who your customer is. Things like age, gender, income, location, marital status. 
Psychographics are like personality, lifestyle, interests, beliefs, opinions. It's why your customer buys. That's things like sports and music interests, religious beliefs, groups, clubs, organizations they belong to, outdoors, hiking, boating, what's their lifestyle like, books they read, and so forth. That's your psychographics. Now we want to go one more layer deeper, deeper and that's your emotional behaviors. And we want to go deep inside the customer's mind. Here's some things that you can ask uh, to think about that, and you may even want to relate it to you because you typically draw customers and leads that are like you. What do they fear most? What do you fear most? What do they dream about? What do you dream about? What do they hope for? What do you hope for? What do they desire their life to be like? What is the problem they face that keeps them up at night and the outcome that they desire? So from there, once you've gone really deep on your audience, then we need to create a message that will attract them to you. And so how you do that uh, is to answer some questions that are like the following. Like, why should I do business with you? Mm -hmm. What's in it for me? Why shouldn't I go to your competitors or even stay at home and do nothing about it? Because that's an option as well. Or go right. to YouTube and figure out how to do it myself. <laughs> why should I trust you? What makes you different than everyone else? So we only have a time for a couple examples, but here's, here's a couple examples. Uh, one, arguably the most famous is Domino's. Fresh, hot pizza delivered to your door in 30 minutes or less, or it's free. Mm -hmm. Now, that wasn't only a perfect message because they also got their audience right. They strategically built all their initial locations by college towns, and in college towns, you have students who don't have transportation, mm -hmm. who want hot food, they want it quickly for late studying nights or whether they're partying, and they want to get it there. And so then, then they gamified it by saying, we'll get it to you in 30 minutes or it's free. So they perfectly matched their audience with their offer and their message. And that's how they built a billion dollar dynasty. Let's take another example, FedEx, when it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. So if you have to get some package to somebody overnight and you're counting on that, are you going to go to UPS or the post office? No, you're going to go to FedEx who position themselves to be that company that's going to get it there overnight for you. And then finally, we need to discuss your offer. So listen, even if you've been in business five years, 10 years, 25 years, you need to spend time determining your magnetic offer which could be called your, your irresistible offer, signature offer, as you've heard different ways of saying it today. Mm -hmm. You know, most businesses have actually never done this. So if you're here and you know about that, you're of the minority, you're of the, the top percentage that has done some studying and some digging and how do you do that? So, well, how do we come up with that offer? Let's give you some quick tips to do that. Write down all your services and your products, Determine which one you would like to claim fame for. What is going to be your signature product or your offer? This includes free offers like this summit that Amy and her team put together, content, trainings, video series, workshops, classes. Listen, you're either selling for dollars or you're selling for emails. Mm -hmm. Now that's something you might wanna write down. You're either selling for dollars or you're selling for emails couple other questions. What do you feel you do better than anyone else? What do your customers or clients rave about? What are you most known for already? So now that we have you thinking, you want to look at that list and you want to pick the top three and you want to think about why you're known for them. You know, is it, is it pricing? Do you market them more? Do they create a uniqueness in the marketplace for you? Which of those three are most profitable for you and your business? And then you want to take the next step and, and really narrow it down to that one, that one idea that's really going to make you famous and make you stand out. The right questions and going through this homework assignment will help you discover your magnetic offer. You know, I love this because too many people, again, I've said, I feel like I've said this a lot today, but if it's vague for you, your customers do not know. So I'd love to just do a little bit of a check-in. How many of you, as he was going through all of those really powerful questions, like you'd have to actually think about and do a little bit of homework there. If you'd have to do homework, just type in homework. Because I, even as I was listening to them, I thought, you know, 
it's been a little while since I w since I've gone through and done that, and it's it's adjusted, it's changed. So here's the thing that I want you to understand: if you haven't done that homework, I guarantee you your marketing messaging is not clear enough because if you don't know it, your customers surely don't know it. So I love those questions. I think that's absolutely critical. Um, oh, now you got a request for a worksheet. Do you have a worksheet yeah. where you can give them all those questions? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. I'll let you know about that in a minute. <laughs> good, good. Okay, that's good. Cause yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I need to go back through and make sure I've got all those. I have some, but there's some that we probably need to revisit. So if our viewers were to implement just one thing from this conversation, what's your suggestion for the most important thing? So the triangle. So just mm -hmm. to recap, draw out that triangle, write the word positioning inside the triangle. At the bottom left, hopefully I'm doing this right for the screen, <laughs> write audience mapping. At the top, write perfect message. And at the bottom right, write magnetic offer. Underneath that triangle, write the equal sign perpetual customer growth. Because when you get those things lined up, you will get a perpetual flow of customers to your business. So you must position your business correctly in the mind of your chosen audience with the perfect message for them and an offer they can't refuse. And that will create a seven figure foundation for you in your business. So going back to my story, Jonathan, I have to lay you off from your inheritance. Those words, as devastating as it were, were pivotal in my pursuit of knowledge and marketing and protecting businesses so you could survive and thrive in any situation. Listen, I've spent the last 20 years immersed in learning how to position businesses for the long-term growth. I've tried, I've failed, I've succeeded in my own businesses, but ultimately my journey led me here in front of business owners just like you. I put those pieces together for you to position your business correctly for long-term survival and scalability. And we've only scratched the surface in positioning your business. It's stage one, which we call brand. Mm -hmm. There's two more stages, and we call that blueprint and bulletproof in order to protect your business to survive and to thrive. Awesome, well, I can definitely feel your heart and your care. And um, it, it's such a motivating factor when you're working with small business owners because you know that behind every business is a family and dreams and a legacy. And so I, I love that you care on that deep level about these business owners. Um, do you wanna go ahead and share with them how they can get that worksheet and get some more information, stay connected with you? Because I wanna do the exercise as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So um, the link that you can go to is www.perpetualcustomergrowth.com forward slash pipeline offer. www.perpetualcustomergrowth.com slash forward slash pipeline offer. And in that, you're going to get three video trainings, which go deeper into audience mapping, perfect message, and magnetic offer. You're going to get a workbook with each one of them. In addition to that, I threw some bonuses together, uh, such as the 14 steps to create cash flow behind closed doors. I put the second edition of my book, Mind Reset, for small business owners in the offer for you guys. I put uh, seven secrets revealed to obtaining referrals and reviews, and there's even a couple bonuses beyond that. So I awesome. hope there's just a ton of content and value uh, to help your audience and uh, help them to survive and thrive, especially during this time when we're facing yeah. the economic um, crisis. We got to stick together as small business owners. I mean, really, this is the time where we come together, we share resources, we help each other, and we, we will be the thing that keeps the economy from falling apart because we have more flexibility. We have more ability to innovate and to change faster than the big guys do. So thank you so much for being on with us. We really appreciate your time and you just coming, sharing your knowledge, but also sharing your heart with us. Awesome. Thank you for having me.